Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanuk127 and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I got a little one that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about for a bit now. And especially, you know, because of some of the comments I got on this game in my last video, I figured I would make a follow-up and just talk about, you know, some further thoughts I was having after this game revealed. So, roughly a week or so... Now, by the time you guys are watching this video, I will have shown y'all a game called Lineage W, which I think is short for Lineage World. I think so. Don't quote me on that. But the way they talk about the game, about, you know, expanding the world of Lineage and stuff like that, I think it's safe to say that Lineage W stands for Lineage World, or at least that's just how, how I take it. But anyway, it was an exclusive MMORPG coming to PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, mobile and pc and i was talking about you know being one of the future um decent console mmos in my video however a lot of the comments i got you know were concerned about it being a mobile game and stuff like that and of course you know i stress that in my video that's one of my concerns mobile games do tend to have a lot of pay to win and weird you know ways of of doing things and i just hope that this game especially being a global based game steers away from that because it looks like it has a lot of potential it's got some really nice visuals it's a top-down isometric um action rpg style mmo which we don't get a lot of those especially on console the closest thing we have to one is um path of exile and it's really a seasonal kind of game and um i would really like to see this game succeed especially with you know the developers bringing it to switch as well that it just it has a lot of potential you know with cross play cross platform progression and and all that stuff and um nz soft they they seem like a a pretty cool pretty cool developer now i haven't played a lot of games by them i've played a little bit of blade and soul don't know too much about them but that's just roughly about it but um anyway what i wanted to talk about was some things that i think lineage w is going to need to do to succeed and you know win the hearts of especially some of you guys because i saw a lot of you guys were already turned off by a few things one is a game with you know with mobile in mind so i know that's something you're concerned about number two there was no sign of an xbox version of it which i still find weird because like i said from what i know at one point in time or another ncsoft and microsoft did supposedly have some type of partnership unless the source that i read was wrong and if so i do apologize for that but from what i know that was uh that was the case and that was why i was speculating at one point in time that blade and soul console could possibly be an xbox exclusive for at least a while like i was saying there are some things that i think the game you know should keep in mind to um to to be successful especially over here and um in north america and i want to talk about those things so the first and obvious no obvious thing number one is no pay to win and i mean none whatsoever little you know xp boosters or whatever and stuff like that fine um and things but you know nothing with any shady tactics you know to a currency where oh you can farm it but you know you can also buy it if you want to earn this gear a little bit quicker or you know if you want to have this um this slight buff for a few hours you can buy this item it'll give you a slight advantage in pvp none of that none none of that weird shady antic crap i think the only thing that's reasonable that should be put in any of these games for um that's even considered the slightest pay to win is exp boosters because me personally i really don't care about that Ooh, you hit level cap faster than i did big deal that that's how i look at exp boosters i don't know how you guys look at them but that's how i personally look at them. when it comes to exp boosters you know you get 10 percent more exp for an hour 20 percent extra exp for seven days or whatever the case may be i really don't care about exp boosters that's my personal opinion i mean yes they're technically pay to win you pay to get to the winning objective a little bit faster but like i said woo, you hit level cap a little bit faster than me i i i could care less <laughs> but yeah pay to win is definitely one thing that they do need to steer away from um the second thing and i think this is one of the biggest mistakes that they're making is um they should definitely consider an xbox version of this in the future with xbox being integrated with pc it's windows 10 xbox and pc are literally like the same game platform now being integrated with cloud and in mobile the console is already on some of the platforms that you're already releasing on anyway 
why was Xbox even left out of the equation? Nintendo's friendly with doing crossplay with Xbox. There are plenty of games that are crossplay with Xbox and Switch and PC and mobile and vice versa. There's even plenty of games that are crossplay with Xbox and PlayStation. I don't think putting Xbox into this game's equation would have been a problem. Why the developers decided not to do this, I have no idea. Now granted, Xbox wasn't the platform winner last generation. The Switch and the PlayStation consoles are really far ahead of Xbox, but still, that's you know that's just another player base that's missing out on. And especially, like I said, Xbox is part of the mobile and PC ecosystem now, technically. Meaning, you know, those kind of players do have interest in these kind of games or else, you know, they wouldn't buy a platform that's, you know, linked to platforms that play these kind of games. So I really think it would be a smart idea idea for them to to um, to invest in Xbox sometime in the very near future, especially if they plan on releasing releasing this year. That's just my personal opinion. And last but not least, the third thing I think they need to focus on the most, and this is going to be key, especially with MMOs, is they need to be open with the community. They need to be open to communication. They need to be open to feedback. I'm talking on a Fortnite level, and a lot of MMOs do not do this now. And the thing is, it drives me nuts. Feedback's always implemented so late. They don't get the, the, um, the player's feedback until a certain time for whatever reason there's always some type of disconnect between the community manager and the devs and not everything gets gets said no 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 no. there needs to be a constant flow of communication between the community and the developers especially for how many different platforms that this game is going to be on because everybody's experience is going to be slightly different playstation players are going to feel one way mobile players are going to feel another way pc players are going to be one way and switch players are probably going to feel another another type of way and all that feedback is going to be crucial to the success of this game and i just really hope you know after that awesome presentation that these developers gave because me personally i'm excited about this i know a lot of people aren't too crazy about it yet but i just i want to see what it can do i'm I mean, I'm looking on the positive side for this game, but feedback is going to be a really crucial thing that they're going to have to, that NCSoft is going to have to act on. And I really hope, I really hope that they are willing to do that so this game can succeed. But anyway, guys, let me know what do y'all think Lineage W is going to have to do to survive. Let me know how y'all feeling down in the comments below. Anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Take care. Have a good one.